Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Dave here I'm with my special friend Kaylee, and we're going to show you a special trick on this black coin behind her with our feet and our mind. We had a special request in the comment section by someone. So we're going to help you out. We're going to show different body sizes, different ways of getting through this. Stay tuned, it's going to be a good one. It's been a few weeks since the competition and this hole is extra chalky. The chalk gets into the pores of the holds and it makes it difficult to grip. So pro tip for you, always brush the holds before you start. It will save a lot of energy. It will also give you a lot of friction. Now if you come down with me here, these foot holds also have a lot of rubber on them. So I'm going to give them a brush as well so my foot doesn't slip. And as we're climbing, you're going to notice that at some point I actually switch my foot to this outside edge. This is a big key in the whole climb. If your foot stays on the, the inside, the left edge, it's going to slip as you try to switch over. So watch me climb, we'll see if it works. Why can't I do that? make mistakes and they just keep trying again until they finally get it. Okay, so you've watched me fall a few times. I figured out a trick though. Even though I set this climb, it's really tricky and I forgot how to do it. But I remember I've got to use this top edge with my finger. That's going to be the key. It allows me to pull down and it's a slightly better lip. And hopefully you've noticed I've been using the outside, the outside edge of this foot here, like I said before. Now this time, we're going to make it work. It's going to be perfect. That's right, Christopher. I've been practicing how to do it. Not as easy as Kaylee, but I got it done. So we've been watching a struggle on the black line behind me. And one of the reasons we set it up, it was because in the competition, Tom and I had determined that this blue climb here was much, much easier if you had large hands and a long frame so that you could get to the top of the wall by jumping off of this foot down here. And after testing it myself, I was able to do it with the addition of this little blue crimp here, 
However, it was just much, much, much difficult, more difficult. It's probably three grades more difficult. So we thought, let's keep this in here so that people can do that climb. They feel good about themselves. However, to equalize it, we created the black climb here. And we knew that this would be much, much, much more difficult if you were longer. And to demonstrate that, I got a special friend. It's Maddie P from hey. Maddie P's Canadian Climbing Crew. And as you can see, Matt and I, if we reach up as high as we can, a bit of a difference. So you're in for a treat. Matt's going to give you the tall guy beta since my friend Joe said your channel has lots of tips for short people and he was waiting for someone a little bit longer. Nice work, Matt. Thank you. So, Matt, I noticed you do things a little bit differently than I do. You had to twist your hips a little bit differently, mm -hmm. but both of us still went out to the arete before going up to the, that top hole. Was there a reason for that? Why yeah. Didn't you, why didn't you just go straight from the kind of zone hold with the white tape first? So, I need to go out to the arete first to create a bit of compression with my with my toe and my hand yeah. because I can't just hold here. And here with my long arms and my legs, it's just way too awkward. Yeah, yeah. Well, how many attempts? Uh, like, how many attempts did it take you to get this? How many days did you put on this? Uh, a couple of days, but probably like 15, 20 attempts. 15, 20 attempts. Yeah, per day. Before I told yeah, you. per day. Wow. Well, yeah. good work. Thanks Thank for you. helping out, Matt. Mm -hmm. uh, now, what's what's new on your channel? What do you got coming out? Do you have anything in the works? You, um, do, you have a lot of moonboard. Yeah, a lot of moonboard. I'm probably going to be trying to put more V like V5 plus oh. instead of just the V3s. So that'll be yeah. fun. Yeah. Okay. Any more splits videos you can? If I can. Yeah. Yeah. We have a video with Matt. Check it out. I'll have the link in the top corner there above his head. But Matt shows us how to work on the splits and get more flexible. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Matt. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, you've watched us all climb. Hopefully you enjoyed that. You saw some shorter people, some taller people, some middling people, and you realize it's difficult for everyone. Now, one of the things that makes this even more difficult that you can't see from the video is that as you're on this hold and you're crimping on for dear life, desperate for anything to grip onto, this black hold up here pops into your field of vision. And it's really tempting to want to go grab it, but you just can't hold on. The way it's angled, the way your feet are, you pop off every time. The real trick is you have to remember the arete is behind you and the arete is in and come out to it for the compression first. That's the only way to make it through. So the hallmark of good competition setting, not just what you do with your feet, not just how hard you grip with your, your fingers, but also how hard you can work with your mind. That's it for today. I hope you had fun. Keep staying kind. Keep writing comments in the section below and I'll see you at the top. Cheers. It's going to be a good one. Stay tuned. <laughs> there. Oh. What's over there? Oh. Is there a couch potato under there? <laughs> Alright, let's get that work.